South Africa and India, and I featured one of Manfred's paintings from 1980, a painting called Business, which shows a businessman putting on a gold tie and eventually strangling himself. I think you've all of you have seen it in the National Gallery collection. And oddly enough, a friend of Manfred's was visiting Delhi and saw it on the exhibition and got terribly excited and <coughs> telephoned him and he came to see me and that's how we were talking. We didn't know each other that well before this. Um, as an artist, Manfred Zilla operates in a shifting zone of irritation, discomfort, and unease at the vagaries and injustices of the present continuous in a world where political and social absurdity remain a constant reality. Acknowledged as an important anti-apartheid artist activist in South Africa in the 1980s is represented in many major public and private collections. Many of his works have in fact become key images in the history of the liberation struggle in this country. Since 1994, the question and a dilemma that has confronted many of the exponents of so-called resistance art in South Africa has been to redefine themselves and to embrace a wider range of issues confronting society in transformation. Apartheid was such a massive and an intractable problem that even after its demise, all else, for South Africans it seems, seemed trivial by comparison. However, post-1994, HIV AIDS perhaps took a bigger share of our concern after the pressing issues of land reform, employment equity, and corruption. Suddenly, however, global warming, food shortages, spiraling energy costs, political uncertainty, and xenophobia have loomed large on our horizons. And these are not problems peculiar to our own country, a country that made the term apartheid common currency in many languages. Perhaps the red-hot issue of xenophobia now plaguing South Africa needs to be borne in mind when confronting some of the critical and abrasive works that we see on display here tonight. Sorry We Are Closed, and another work called No Visa Required, are two works that can be paired as a critique on the growing xenophobia as Europe, under the likes of Sarkozy, Berlusconi and Merkel, swings ever to the right. And fortress Europe binds and girds itself to repel foreigners from either visiting or settling there. It is also evidenced by the ever greater requirements and restrictions placed by European governments on Africans and South Africans who wish to travel to Europe, while our own visa controls and requirements at home are in contrast much easy, make it much easier for Europeans to travel to South Africa. In a work such as the one that I'm looking at in front of me right now, we see that while fat foreign capitalist businessmen freely come here to play golf in 
secure, luxurious seclusion behind the barbed wire barriers that protect their fantasy of an exotic Africa outside. Those who wish to escape the harsh realities of this continent find doors barred to them, rolls of barbed wire and reams of red tape. As a European artist, he was born in Germany and who has the freedom of movement denied to most, Manfred Zilla feels acutely the ironies and complexities of the South African and African predicament. <coughs> the broadening of South African issues into global ones is marked in his treatment of the predicament of Brazilian workers who harvest sugar cane for the ultimate consumption of the American biofuels industry. In this work, a luxury uni mag crushes the bones of workers who earn a barely subsistent wage and for whom sunlight is not converted into fuel, but blood. The diversion of much food production into more, a more profitable area of bio, biofuel production has, of course, accentuated the food crisis which grips Africa and particular our own country. On this exhibition is also a telling self-portrait of the artist riding astride a red bicycle, raising his fist as if he is a latter-day sort of Don Quixote, tilting at the new evils arising in the world. This reminds me of what has been seen by, by some as the somewhat quixotic quest of the socially critical artist who firmly believes that art can change the world and make it a better place. This was an artistic creed in the 1960s in Germany when Manfred was active and really active making socially critical work. Matisse once said that what he wanted for his art was to, for it to have the effect of a good armchair on a tired businessman. Matisse's common sense approach and limited aims we can all appreciate and understand. Manfred Zilla, however, wishes to deny the businessman not only his armchair, but also his rest and sense of complacency. In a world of injustice, contradiction, and compounding ironies, Manfred Zilla reminds us that to sleep is to court disaster. Long may he sing the poetry of the dispossessed, and long may he continue to abrade and irritate. Thank you very much. <laughs>